Hello and welcome to the Blackout Semifinals. We're coming at you from Reno, Nevada. Making his way to the ring. Dynamo Junior. Dynamo Jr., son of Danny Dynamic, made his name here in the AICW from day one. Let's see who his opponent is tonight. Oh my god, it's a fan favorite. It's very nice, very evil. It's Dan Housen! What a creepy fellow. This is not going to be an easy match for Dynamo. As silly as Dan Housen may look, he's a dangerous man. Dynamo's definitely got his work cut out for him. Although Dynamo himself, no slouch. He's had several surprising wins and shows that he is his own man. He doesn't need his father's name. He doesn't need his father's blessing. He is Dynamo Jr. Go ahead and get ready for a match. Our competitors are ready and begin. Dan Housen coming with a chop blocked by Dan Dynamo. Dynamo with a reversal kick to the gut. He's going for a springboard moonsault and misses. Ooh. Dynamo up to the top rope 450 S Phoenix Splash I don't know what that's called but it looks like it hurt he is just a flipping maniac oh and he catches the knees Dan hasn't thrown Dynamo out the ring taking a few moments to regain himself now coming outside getting beat up for his efforts Two. Three. oh ooh. dynamo going to the well too many times catching those knees again hit toss by Dan Housen and swinging neck breaker. Both wrestlers need to be aware of the count. Six. And has him gets into the ring. Seven. Calling Dynamo to come on in. And Dynamo obliges. Oh, back to that neck breaker. Dan Housen performs it so well. Boots to the face. He's going to the top rope. And fakes out Dynamo. Big slap. Gets drop kicked off the apron. Dynamo showing a brutal combo, ending with a neck chop. Setting him up for a monkey flip. Dan has a series of chops, kicks, and one more. 
Oh, he's biting him. Dan Hazen breaks the count. Oh, German. He's got a submission on, but they're outside the ring. Dan Hazen really working that arm. Dynamo fights free. Sends Dan Hazen into the barricade. And the hops into the ring. Dynamo calling Dan Hazen back into the ring. Spinning scoop slam from, well, eventually. Oh, there it is. Dan Housen's showing him he's a little dizzy himself. Dan Housen leaning Dynamo against the rope. And he's working that arm. Oh. Beautiful face breaker. Dynamo rolls right into a German suplex. Ends up on his neck. Dan has it back to work on that arm. He's setting him up. Very nice. Very evil. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh, so close. 2.5. Dan hasn't having to put in a little more work. Oh, we've seen this before. Here comes a little bit of his black magic. Dynamo set up for a super kick. Leaves Dan Hazen stunned. One, two. Dan Hazen not so fast, he says. Oh, Dynamo setting him up for a second one. He's setting him up for the Dynado. Oh, is this the end of Dan Hazen? One, two. And he kicks out. Incredible. Well, oh. Danny has him biting the other hand now. And he's going to the top rope. Oh, big splash misses. Dynamo dazed in the ring. Dan Hazen throws him over the ropes. Snake bite. Dan Hazen going for the pin. Could it be enough? It was! Dynamo running on fumes, loses. Danhausen advances to the finals. A lot of big moves tonight. There's your winner, folks. He's very nice. He's very evil.
He's Dan Housen. We're coming at you from Amherst, Massachusetts. Headed to the ring right now. He's the AICW bouncer. He's Hank Hill. Arrive, raise hell, and leave. That's what he does. Hank looks ready. Let's see who his opponent is. Advancing from last round. We have the king himself. We have King Clark Fletcher. Everybody needs to bow down before King Fletcher. As we get ready for our second match, We're checking on the competitors, and they are ready. We have a good back and forth, no man really taking advantage. Hank currently taking his turn and the snake bite. Clark breaks free of the holds. Delivers a kick to the gut and sets. Oh, package pile driver. Or not pile driver, suplex. Nice hip toss by Clark. Clark set them up for something. Quick knee and a lariat. Hank fights free of the hold. Delivers blow after blow to Clark. Snap suplex. Clark going for a pin. Gets a one count way too soon. Clark with a series of kicks. Starts working on Hank's leg. Sends him reeling into the corner. Oh. 
Oh, big kick from Clark. Leaves Hank stunned and rolling across the mat. There was his dark star knee. He can fire it off so close. And the three count. A short, tidy match for Mark King. In the beginning, it was a good back and forth, but ultimately, the king was the victor. All hail King Clark Fletcher! And we're coming at you from Nijata, Japan. I don't know how to say that word, and I don't want to say it how it's probably said. We have... Unoro. Unoro. Numero uno. We have Cruz Diaz. He's a heavily belted champion in many other organizations and promotions. He's still looking for his first belt in AICW. Maybe the blackout belt will be it. We'll have to see after tonight's match. Cruz showing respect to his ancestors. Respect to the audience. And respect to the ring. There he is, folks. He could be our next Blackout Champion. We'll have to stay tuned to see. He's got his work cut out for him because tonight he's facing his own nightmares. He's facing the darkness that lives under his bed. He's facing the horror. Joe Lewis. Here comes the murderous man himself. The horror of former tag team champion, now looking for his first solo belt in the AICW. He's already got the black and orange theme going on. The blackout belt will simply add to his style. Plus, it having a brick pattern will feel right at home in his boiler room from hell. The two competitors are ready. Let's go ahead and get going. Pop up punch from the horror. And he follows up with a little cross the throat action. Oh, 
Dragon Screw. Cruz with a series of elbows. And one from a pie. The horror trying to gain control. Stalling double arm double underarm hook. And Cruz ejects the horror outside the ring. Not a wise place to take a man of such ill repute. But hey, it could be his funeral or it could be his glory. Cruz has got something in mind for that leg. Cruz rolls into the ring, leaving the horror against the barricade. The horror back in on a seven count, catches a cutter. Back elbow and a quick punch from the horror. Says Cruz, you're not going anywhere. Cruz says otherwise. Oh. Over the head toss. The horror is setting him up for the Claymore. Let's see if he can get it. He does. He leaves Cruz stunned on the mat. One, two, not so quick. Cruz tougher than that. Oh, the horse setting him up for something big. It's his power dominator slam. One, two. Cruz fights Freeze with a strong kick out. Another cutter off the rope. Cruz going to the top now. What's he got in mind? Oh, fucking flipping elbow, man. That's got to hurt. Gets a two count. Cruz works him into the arm bar. Will the horror tap out? Or will he break free? He will break free. Nice psycho cutter. Go to hell. Cruz was trying to send the horror back home. And he goes back to the arm bar. Let's see if he can get it. He's in almost the center of the ring. Will the horror tap out? No, Cruz lets it go. Cruz off the ropes. Flipping cutter. 
Now blow after blow to the horror's face. The horror going back for more. It's the Claymore. And Cruz kicks free once again. The horror is setting him up for something sinister. Blow after blow and his spinning dominator power slam. One, two, three. No! Cruz fights free. Horror is showing his frustration. What else do I have to do to this man? How about one of these? Oklahoma slam. The horror. Frustrated as all hell. Stands Cruz up. Picks him up on his shoulders. And slam. Will it be enough? Double underhook. Cruz rolls out of it. Picks him up. And gives him another one. Nighty night, big guy. Followed up by the spear. Cruz comes in for the pin. Two. The horror kicks out. What a match. Cruz, a little short on his flip. Sets up one off the middle rope and nails that one just fine. Elbow, elbow, and elbow. Jawbreaker from the horror gets himself free. Throws Cruz into the corner. Oh, he applies the Iron Claw. The Horror's got the Iron Claw on Cruz. He's squeezing. Cruz blacks out from the pain. The winner is the Horror. In a suitably gruesome fashion, the Horror advances to the next round. That was a hell of a match, folks. Coming at you from Winter Park, Florida. We have making his way to the ring. Crimson! Ross! Crimson Ross sliding into the ring, showing off his expertise in acrobatics. He is truly a formidable foe. And his opponent making his way to the ring right now. Trying to make a name in the AICW and he's going to make it with the very first belt if he has his way. 
It's Neil the Cyborg Henderson. You get before you see my storm. Feel the key charging up, sticking just like a swarm. I'm built just like a tank, and I'm coming on arm. My war crap, they gave drums and call on. Look at the determination on his face. He's gonna make that championship his. There he is, folks. The cyborg. Crimson's ready. Neil's ready. Crimson throwing Neil into the corner for the start of the match. And kicks him into the gut. Crimson with a kick and a punch and a punch and a kick. And a backbreaker. Now, moonsault off the top, uh, middle rope. Goes for a quick pin. One. One count. Starts working those ribs. Neil regaining control now. Headbutt from the cyborg. And he starts leading Crimson to the corner and introduces his face to the turnbuckle and the back of his elbow. And now, look at that power, folks. Military press slam. Crimson with a dragon twist. Suplex followed by a lariat. Going for a pin now. One, two. knee right to the face from Crimson. Goes for a cutter and gets picked up instead. Tosses him away. Crimson recovers and hits him with an uppercut. Kick, kick, kick. Leaves him in the corner. Crimson tossed into the corner now. And more of that back elbow justice.
Oh, surprise roll up from the cyborg. Crimson just barely kicks out. Pump kick. Leaves Crimson stunned and laying on the mat. Well, half and half action leads to him getting tossed over and now in the corner. Crimson fights his way free and delivers his uh, Crimson kick. What more is it going to take to leave the cyborg down? Crimson going to the top rope now. He's begging the cyborg to get up. And huge flying elbow off the top rope. Now he goes into an arm bar. Will the cyborg tap out? Cyborg breaks free. He opens up Crimson. Neil drops Crimson across the apron, delivers an elbow on the outside. Oklahoma Stampede. The Cyborg. Now working on submission outside the ring. I don't think he knows how this is works. Crimson tapping out, but he's outside the ring. It doesn't matter. Crimson going back up now. Sideboard showing off. He's got plenty of power left. And he goes for the pin. One, two. Crimson kicking out. Oh my god. He may have killed Crimson right there. Crimson showing incredible fortitude. And he kicks free at Crimson's knee. Drop kick to the face. Let's see what Crimson does next. He delivers another Crimson knee to the cyborg. And one, two, three. The winner. Crimson Ross! Let's go ahead and check back at some of the replays. Incredible lariat from the cyborg and a pump kick. But Crimson's knee proves to be a little too strong. 
And there's our winner, folks. I want to thank every one of you for coming out to the AICW Blackout to support us in our semifinals. Stay tuned.